what have you made of this? Nearly 4,000 fans coming down to this. Uh, yeah, it's um, great, you know, to come to the stadium and train with the fans watching us. Um, gives them a chance to, to see, see us, see, see the new players, um, see what we're about, um, and then interact with them afterwards, you know. Um, so it's, it's, it's a good day. How have you settled in, and did you think, when you got relegated last season, that your Premier League chance wouldn't come again? Yeah, of course, you know, you, you want to stay in the Premier League, and um, I'm thankful that, for the chance uh, for coming to QPR. I'm, I'm looking forward to, to playing under Harry, and um, the team's looking really good. Um, hopefully a couple new more signings today. Um, the team's shaping up nicely, um, so hopefully we can um, do well this season. It was a defeat on Saturday, but everyone I've spoken to today, including the manager and the fans, so positive. Do, do you share those thoughts? Yeah, definitely. You know, I thought we played we played well on the day, and it was unfortunate we didn't um, get some points from the game. But you know, all the boys are confident, and uh, as I say, a couple more fresh faces coming in the in the squad. Um, I'm sure we'll do well this season. You joined from a club that was relegated, that had come up. What have you noticed difference-wise with with your QPR compared to Cardiff? You know, coming into the change room and you've got the likes of Rio Ferdinand in, in there is, is massive. Um, his experience is what, what he's going to bring to the team this year is going to be is going to be huge. I'm sure all all the all the team together can um, if we can pull together, then we, we can do well this season. You mentioned Harry Redknapp and the short time you've been working with him. What's he been like with you? He's been famed for his man management skills. Have you noticed that? Yeah, definitely. You know. All, all the boys are, are, are sticking together as a group and there's a great atmosphere in there, you know. And um, it's a pleasure to come in every day and, and, and train um, with all the boys here and um, it's a great environment for me to, to get better. A couple of new signings, as you say, on their way. We think Leroy Fur and Eduardo Vargas. What do you make of those and what does it say about the ambition of this club? Yeah, I think they're two big signings, you know. Um, they've both been to the World Cup this, this year and... Um, I think it'll be massive for us, the experience they bring, um, and another two fresh faces to, to the squad um, with valuable experience. Loic Remy was, of course, a starter on Saturday. Yeah. Lots of speculation about his future. How important is it that you can keep him here at this club? Yeah, I think it's massive, you know, because it's shown over the last two years the goals he can score in this league, um, and I think it'll be massive for us if, if he stays at QPR. Um, I'll be de delighted if he stays because it's, um, it's great to play with him. Just finally, it's Tottenham Hotspur away next. Doesn't get much tougher than that at this stage of the season, does it? How important is it to, to get something from that game? Yeah, it's a, it's a massive game, but um, every game in this league is, is big. Um, but I'm sure if we um, get to a game plan um, this week, um, work on a few things, you know, I'm, I'm sure we can go to White Hart Lane and get three points.